All right, everyone. Another video about subflation. And this one is really interesting. Watch it. Let me show you this one. Uh, we have a customer here. We can open it. We have our customer list view. Basically, it's three properties and a collection. Nothing out of the world. Now, we go to the order and we open the order. We have our lookup for the customer and then the order info. So, by the order info with order items and so on. So this is the normal behavior of SAF. We create a lookup for a reference property. So what do we do here, Jose? Let me show you. Uh, actually, let me just, if you see this is the layout of the order, let me customize this layout and just delete this thing that is being repeated. All right. So let me show you this. We have a property editor. Right. This customer info, uh, detail view component racer. And if we go to property editor, it's for type of customers. And if we go to a razor component, basically what we're doing here is we're creating a object space. With that one, we are uh, getting the value of the customer that the property editor is applied. And we're creating a detail view for the customer. That's it. Now, what we're doing with that detail view is we are using the view side component that is a Razor component from the DevExpress app Blazor template. So it's not a component that we build, it's a component that comes from SAF. And we are actually, if you will create a new template, you will see it there, and we're actually passing, in, passing that detail view. So if I come now to the model and I go to the orders detail view and I take the customer and instead, instead of having the regular property editor, the local property editor, we're going to use our own property editor. And we run it. Now, Ochi, if we go to the order, Mm -hmm. and we open our detail view. You can see that the customer detail view, instead of the lookup, is completely embedded inside the order detail view. So yeah. it's a quick trick when you want to like make this non-editable. And if you see right here, we could probably remove the collection and only show what we want. It's just uh, to prove that we are embedding a detail view of the customer inside the order uh did the review so hey um, i was playing with this and i saw that view side component is the one who is in charge of displaying the list views and detail views so say, okay let's try to, to do something crazy and you can see here that you can embed one detail view inside the another one whatever your use case might be so i had a, a student telling me hey everyone was always saying that SAF is good, but it's always limited. But I still don't find the limitation on what I can do on the UI side. I can do mostly everything, so you can. So that's it, that's it, simple, but I think that those are the type of tricks that we don't think about and you can actually do it. Same thing if you can, in that template, add as we're uh, working on right now in the template, another panel to the side to put a chat box for AI or another flooring button. So the possibilities are in this here. Yeah, that's really nice, Javier. Uh, I think that what we can say about this is that there are always like these hidden gems in the source. So if you take a look to the source, you will find that you will learn a lot. That is actually how I learned at the beginning. It's like review the source code. This is how they do the modules. This is how they do everything. And then you just repeat it because especially a long time ago, they didn't have the time to to keep the documentation as the same level of the source code, of course. So if you have the time, go and take a look at the source code. It's a good uh, way to learn a lot about how stuff is being architecture. Yeah, I remember, Jorge, when I first met you that the first thing I was trying to achieve was creating a reusable model. And your advice was go and read the source code of the reports module. You will see all the, all the, the pieces there. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.